Geek Dad Life presents Toy Geeks, a live toy talk show. Tonight we're going to talk about all of the reveals from the 2024 WonderCon in Anaheim, California. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello everybody and welcome to Toy Geeks. My name is Jay and with me tonight, my good friend, Night last night to get Flipboard, right? It's still tomorrow, but this is the last night. This is the last night. You know, you want to do it before the night. It's like it's like turning into a werewolf. You know what I mean? Like you want to exactly. You want to do it before the clock strikes midnight because then Cinderella leaves you without a flipboard or without a flaker, unless you unless you're an early riser. So farmers are okay. All right, they're but good. Like, all the rest of us, you know, us working class, you know, guys, we gotta work. Get up, feed the kid, get on the road. You might forget. You might forget. Exactly. Today. <laughs> so glad you're here to make sure anybody watching this doesn't forget. Yeah. Uh, we got WonderCon, which you were at. I was. I was at WonderCon. I'm very exhausted, but I was at <laughs> WonderCon because I got to do my job, Jay. Okay, my job. <laughs> Is this a job for me? I don't know. But like, I, I got to, yeah. I feel like I got to, I got to go out there and represent for WonderCon. So I mean, I did you, did you have like a flipboard kind of there? Like, were you kind of like pedaling them along to the, to the, I will say the that, that little thing I use for the commercial, it is so fragile because it's just basically <laughs> like a, it's, it's just a statuette, you know what I mean? So I didn't even yes. dare to bring it along because of something fall. It's very, very expensive, but I was wearing my flip life shirt on toy stalker. You can get it. Proceeds go to the campaign. And then, um, you know, I, they say that shirt, was the talk of the con wow. um, that's all i'm saying okay that's a big deal talk of the con yeah not just anything becomes the talk of the con no. um <laughs> but uh you know uh i i was not able to attend luckily uh you were there uh our friends toy habits were there toy yeah. shiz was there um so we got it's a lot of stuff toy shiz uh we just like Oh, like the ships passing in the night. It's passing in the night. Uh, uh, but uh, he was, yes, uh, a lot of people there. I met Shardimus Prime there. Uh, he nice. was very, very nice to me. Um, I think some other people were there. And yeah, it was, it was fun times. And, and we got some pretty decent reveals. Usually I feel like WonderCon doesn't quite get some, I don't know, the goods that maybe, uh, I mean, of course, San Diego Comic Con gets Power Con maybe a little bit. And, yeah. And New York Comic Con. So good on WonderCon. Getting some, you know, getting some heavy hitters. With I the was Hasbro surprised, apartment. dude. Like when I was in there, because I did like a, I went on Saturday, and but I had to go because my daughter was not feeling too well. And then I came, I went uh, back on Sunday and I was getting like the updates and I was like, I was shocked. I was like, wow, this is a lot of, this is like STCC level reveal yeah. uh, at WonderCon. So WonderCon, I feel like came up. A bit in 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 this one. People are loving the swoop. The Transformers swoop was. Everyone's talking about swoop. I've yet to see um, swoop. I I, I, I have. Uh, I'm admittedly Jay. I told you I'm sort of behind. I'm going to be kind of like learning this as I go. Yeah. As you show some of the stuff because uh, I know there's a, I know a few of them, but I don't know all of them. So it'll be, yeah, fun, be fun to just kind of catch up on that. Some live reactions in yeah. real time. I'll react like this. I'll be like I'll be like whoa, and then I'll be like. What you know? I'll I'll have them all. It'll be fun. <laughs> um, does Toy Shiz have a face, or is he like a Muppet Baby parent? Uh, actually, I kind of like that, but no, he he's a real person. He um, is a real he person. A real I I also thought he was like AI at some point. Like I <laughs> thought he was just like some AI creation because I was like, how can this guy get all the news twenty four seven all the time and just it's true. Uh, yeah, and he's such. If you watch his videos, he's such an affable, likable yes. type of guy. Like he's just yeah. very like chill. He's like, "Hey guys, uh, you know, sit back and this and that." I was like, "This must be somebody programmed uh, this voices fella." And you're right. Like he's just so tireless. He's always on top of so many things. Uh, yeah. his, his Instagram page, his YouTube channel. Um, but he is like an incredibly nice, real human being, and that's yeah, kind he's, of, a, he's, he's a, real. I will, I will say he's a super nice. Like yeah. real as you get type of guy. Like he just kind of passes the captcha. He passes the captcha. <laughs> he really does. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, and uh, but there is uh, because he, I think he had either he didn't have facial hair the first time at him, and then this past Comic Con he had like a goatee or something, maybe a mustache or something. And so since I don't really, even though I talk to him a lot, I don't, I've only seen his face once. And he came up to me at Comic Con, and I was like, why? And he's like, it's me. I'm like, oh, yes, of course. <laughs> I'm so yeah. sorry. 
That's that's um, by the way, that's Jay's reaction whenever I come up to him at Comic Con. He oh he he's he goes, ooh, and then I say, Jay, you he here uh, many times on the show, and he's like, I just I can't place the the face. I'm not good with faces. <laughs> you're, I think you're the tallest of us. You're pretty tall out of the out of the toy tubers. I, I will say, no, Dan uh, Larson's pretty tall too. Uh, Dan Larson is is t- I have not met Dan Larson. I mean, maybe him and I just go head to head at some point. Okay. Yeah, but, I yeah. feel like if, if from memory, I think Dan Larson's the tallest. Is he, and then is maybe he, your is second. That how the chart go? We should have like a like like action figures have like, have like a scale. Yes. Uh, chart, yes. You know, like uh, we should have like a scale chart of like all of us. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, man. Um, but yeah, super pumped to be talking about reveals, not toy tuber heights. Uh, let's say hello to the chat. Uh, it's Easter today. Happy Easter to everyone who Happy celebrates Easter. Everybody. Easter. Um, Passover isn't this working. Isn't it like later in April this year? They don't uh, align, Passover. right? When is Sometimes Passover? What? What? It's, uh, uh, it's end of April. End of That's April. That's right. Yeah. Okay. End of April. Yes. So we got much time. fun. Matzah. Yay. <laughs> um, all right, <laughs> let's say hello to the chat. We got Real Joker, Nelson A, Ibrand 3G, Tree Shaker, Jeff uh, Jeff White, Allen Music Fan, William Randall is here, Ryan Dole, Gonzo, Gino, Gage, Legion X, uh, Rick Capabianco, All Music Fan, Jay Solo Arts, Wolf Den Collectibles, Jeff White, uh, Ryan Clark in the house, two guys talking toys, Zach Kinsella in the house. Um, I did Gay Stories, but I'll do Gay, gay Stories again. Mint with Card, Country Boy, Michael Miller is here. Um, da, 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 Chunky Robo Monkey, that's a new one. Uh, hello. Uh, Tokikosaurus, Ryan Polly, Charlie Squared is here. Is Charlie Weaver here? He's one of my favorites to say. Dan Crispex in the house. Leonard Beaton, Automaton KL2 Bad Basis, Brian Brink, Master of the Charts. Everyone's a favorite chart master. Uh, Flash is here. Riley, Bob, Robert, Alessandri, Doomed, huh? O Rings, baby. Uh, Gage, Jason, Angry Elf, Cougar, McGillicuddy, another one of my favorite names to say. Uh, Derek Kuto, <laughs> Mecha Man Blade, John Johnson, Shondo Gecko, Battle Armor Dad, King Panther, Too Bad Dad, and so many more. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, we got official Dan Larson. Let us know. Six, three. Damn it. I'm six, one. <sighs> there you go. He's got you by two inches. Damn. What if I wore those like height things? Could I, could I get another two inches? Probably. Yeah, even just like a little bit. It's only two inches. So you could yeah. probably. Whoa, whoa. Only two inches, Jay. Two inches can make or break anything. All right. Let's relax there. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, uh... that's, ni- that's night and day. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah alpha magnus is oh gigantic. i've heard alpha magnus is very tall he's uh yeah he's, he's yes that's true. uh again i'm five nine which i think is like a global average i'm average yeah. but like when i stood next to him like i think i got i went up to like his waist maybe he's yeah he's really tall he, he's uh he's um, an intimidating guy <laughs> uh but get those vans with the super thick soles and you're there <laughs> i think that might that might be a good look for me <laughs> Try that. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, we have a giveaway tonight. I think I, I teased it last week. This is this is an epic giveaway. This is a great way to close out Q1 2024. Um, uh, the amazing Matthew Bush sent in a a, a vehicle that I already owned, so I don't need it. So that means it's going to one of you all. It's none other than the G.I. Oh. Joe classified. Oh, wow. Vamp. Happy day. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. Dude, you do the best giveaways. I, I swear. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Sold out. Can't get it anywhere. Maybe you can. I don't know. They reissued me. I have no idea. But anyway. This is this is courtesy of Matt Bush. Y'all maybe watch watch sometimes like, oh man, I wish Matt Bush would give me something. Well, this is your chance. Oh my god. I'm giving this away, is a giveaway. this GI Joe classified vamp. Um, so Hatter, what what should the light goal be for this bad boy? This is let this me is see. Pretty epic. First of all, Jayski, is there a delay here or can you hear me fine in real time? 
Yeah. You're sounding great. Okay. Maybe right. I need I to thought, edit my sound settings. No, quick. no, no. I, I thought that there was a delay. There was a hiccup. I think after you showed that vamp, so many people rushed into the chat <laughs> that it just choked the stream. Even I'm jealous of the vamp because, it's. first of all, can we talk about just for a second, why, why is this thing sold out? Why is it exclusive? I I should be able to get tons of vamps, okay? But uh, let's, let's. Uh, I, feel like I, I don't know. Like they, they got the mold. They'll probably do it 10,000 times. But they probably. Uh, okay, I don't so, disagree wait. with you. I don't disagree with you. How many people are in the chat? I can't see the thing. Like, we already many... have 333. 333. Dude, I, I think for a vamp. Uh, Should, is it well, four hundo? I, Should we go four hundo? I, I want to say, damn it, dude. I don't want I don't want to shut people out of the vamp. But like, I feel like a vamp is something you got to work for. I mm -hmm. feel like a vamp is like for a 400 thing. I feel like you got to come in. And if you can't hit a like for whatever reason, you got to jump on your buddy's thing and hit the like because this is this is a freaking vamp, okay? So th th this is a beautiful – I have one, okay? I kind of want another. I, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> uh, uh, it's a beautiful vehicle. So, yeah, there you go. It's You're right. It's a great vehicle. And even if you have one, you could use another one, you know? Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, a, a certain uh, flipping character could even fit onto the back <laughs> of the vamp. I mean, you could do so much. With this so man. much, yeah. So four hundred likes. I'm saying four hundred. I'm saying four hundred. There you go, folks. Four hundred likes, and we'll lock a giveaway of this GI Joe vamp. Yeah, everybody just hit like. How do I go hit like? Hold on, while I'm doing this, <laughs> I, I like I've never hit like while I was on the show. I'm I just did it just now. So you know, I'm I'm. I'm I'm here for the cause. All right. I'll tell my wife to do it too, just so everybody can can jump in. Beautiful, beautiful. Easy E doesn't matter. My duck can't swim. You know, you never know till till you win, you know. It's I mean, you things. know, there's there's pills for that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh, here we go. I love this, Kate. In honor of Flipboard, whoever wins has to flip it. <laughs> you know what? It's it's rem, uh, what what does Flipboard say? It's it's a it's a free market. You know what I mean? It's it's uh, that's that them's the rules. <laughs> them's the rules. <laughs> um. All right. Let's uh, let's. Where do you want to start? I, okay. Can I just say the one that I was just out of left field, kind of crazy, was the O Ring Ghostbusters. Um. Did you, heard about did them, you hear about seen them yet? I'm looking forward to seeing them. Okay. Uh, well, uh, on Toy Arc, we have some pictures from the kind of behind the scenes. Uh, Hasbro put on this because um, uh, they didn't have a, a booth. So they did this like little room presentation of some of the toys. Mm -hmm. um, I got invited, but I wasn't there. But luckily enough, people did get invited to it. And I'm sorry you weren't my friend. So Hasbro, if you're watching right now, we gotta get Matt Hatter on the uh, on the invite list. Bro. Nobody invites me to anything. What is it? I'm starting to feel unwelcome. Okay, I understand. Yeah. I'm not, you know, I'm not Johnny Nostalgia with his big numbers. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> but I would love an invite even if I can't go. What the hell? Don't yeah. you want me there? Yeah. Just put, get him on the list. Whatever that list is, just get him on the list. <laughs> um, so. Uh, I gotta readily admit, I knew about these ahead of time. I'm not gonna blow up anybody's spot, but uh, maybe at the YHS night before party, uh, we kind of got word about some of these releases. Um, and to be honest, I I I, I was excited because I love O rings and I love that three three quarter inch scale. <sighs> And nothing beats Kenner Ghostbusters for me personally, but um, I just I don't know I don't know what to make of these. I, I, what, what are what are you feeling? You're not as, you're not as big of a Ghostbuster fan as, as I am. But like, I, how are you feeling about these? I think that's just it. I, I I in no way am I hating on this. I just don't. I'm not in on Ghostbusters as much. So uh, for me. The mix, I guess, the first thing I, I I don't get is what is the significance of the mix of Ghostbusters and O rings? Like, what what am I missing here, or is it just an experiment? Um, I don't know. I don't think it's an experiment. I think they had this one eighteenth scale Ecto one that they made for Ghostbusters Afterlife, 
I don't know if you remember that when it came out during the pandemic. Yes, 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 yeah, yeah, um, I do. It's a nice, it's a nice. It's uh, it's not bad. I have a few yeah. of them. I, I've made a video about how to like clean up because the one big problem is that the front end was all like scorched, um, but you could kind of clean it up and it would look pretty decent, um, but it was still all rusty. So they had that 118th scale Ecto-1 mm -hmm. mold already sitting there. Um, so, you know, it's, it's like a low cost option to reuse that and yeah. yeah um so i so i think it was more of that driving using the three three quarter inch scale figures than this is some new toy line that's i think it's, I think it's a one and done i i do have to say okay as you're talking is and i'm looking at the sector one and i'm imagining them fitting inside of it that's really cool like i like the fact that they can fit inside and 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 that's always very underrated and comfortably fit inside um, okay so i got a little bit of a little bit of a rain cloud which i know you've had a uh -oh. lot of in, okay in so okay. um i believe it can only fit two of the four figures what uh, no purchase really it, that you can't uh it's just two i think you only fit two okay um i remember uh them talking about that at that party um I think it's just something in the engineering. It's if you they they had to move the seats around because I, I have the afterlife version and the way the seats were not even a mask figure could fit in the front seat of that one. Yeah. Um, and mask is even smaller than a than a G.I. Joe figure. So I think they've re-engineered the front seats. And so you can get two figures up there. I but see. I don't think any of the seats in the back work. Um, so uh so yeah so exactly so i think only two in the front that there's a back seat in the gunner well there's no gunner seat on the 84 version but there's usually two seats that face each other um and for whatever reason it just didn't translate to being able to fit those two in there so only two can fit in yeah so mm. it's it's okay it's <laughs> cool that they're in this world building but it's not it's not a slam dunk i'm gonna buy it. i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna buy it but that's how I feel. What, what what are you thinking about it? Well, I know you're gonna buy it, my love, because <laughs> you, you, this is, I, I know it's that this is like your thing. Um, uh, I don't know, dude. I'll tell you what's. I, I'm not gonna get this, okay? But it, but it has yeah. nothing. It's no reflection of of, of this. I, I'm just not that into Ghostbusters. I am still hung up on the fact. Remember when Alex from Mondo showed those Ghostbuster renders? Oof. I'm like, yeah. if somebody just. It Hasbro says we're gonna make the Ghostbusters animated line like that, okay? Yep. And they make it could be like Super Seven style, you know, kind of like big or whatever, but just big and vibrant and and translate same way they kind of tried to do the Playmates line and updated mm -hmm. it. Yeah, the Ninja Turtles Playmates line. I'm sorry. Yes, yes. And like updated it with like just the beautiful sculpts and this and that with the ghosts. I'm all in. It's like I, I you'll have all my Ghostbusters money. I think a lot of people will 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 also uh just be on top of that uh, th but that r that translates to that this i don't know like this to me is very situational um yeah it's like if i would have jumped on the movie line already then maybe this would have kind of like been close enough for me but again I'm, i might just not be the audience okay i might not be yeah. i love the ecto every time i see an ecto one i'm like god i want to i want exactly. that but like i don't know if i need this um and again it just might be that i'm not the audience but it sounds like you're also feeling that way and you're you are the audience you know i i um i am the audience and again like once you see the ecto the figures make sense like like you're saying and yeah. so um so i like I, i'm good with them but to me if you're not doing anything else then it's fine but it's nothing that's going to get me over the moon excited <laughs> um <laughs> and but you know it, it's it's cool i like that they're trying different things um and and we're getting more gb product even though you know uh what we have gotten to support frozen empire has been um uh i don't know barely anything uh when uh in fact there's just so much cool toy toyetic stuff in that movie didn't um, Golden empire make a buttload of money too uh i think it's done okay i think i just i just glanced before coming on here it's at 75 million domestic and i think 
That's pretty it's, damn good. It's already over $108 million that, worldwide, I think. That's how much it – that is actually really good for a Ghostbusters movie, I think. So yeah. I, maybe that inspires people to – or inspires the companies to, I don't know, put out more product. Um, this is – dude, I will say this is a tough franchise. This mm -hmm. is a this is a difficult franchise to it's it's not Indiana Jones difficult. It's not that difficult, okay? It's but got it's the difficult. khaki problem though. It does have the khaki problem that that, that Indiana Jones. Yeah, has. there's a khaki that's why I'm like go with the animated figures yeah. like do that to, like like knock it out, maybe make origin styles of that, you know what I mean? Like do mm -hmm. something crazy with that, but like yeah, this is a this is four schlubby guys in khakis. You know what I mean? It's it's difficult to uh, it's difficult. It's a hard. Um, it's always been hard. Ghostbusters has always been difficult. Well, it's difficult when you kind of paint yourself into this corner of eighty four. And again, I eighty four Ghostbusters is one of the greatest movies of all time. But when you just you you keep going back to the four dudes in you know flight suits. It's just not as a compelling a toy, um, right? Uh, and and eventually, like if you keep putting that on your shelf, it's a really beige, boring toy shelf, and and so you you need uh, you have so many ghosts, you you have a, a rich animated history that you could tap into that would make a really dynamic and exciting toy shelf. But if you keep it doing do four dudes in khaki suits, um. You know, I, there's just there's only so much variety that you could do. If that's you yeah, that, that's place. what um, that's what I agree. Dor Laxon is that wants me to take it. Back. I don't. I love Ghostbusters. I'm a <laughs> giant fan of 1984 Ghostbusters. Every time I every time I say something about like it's not for me, I, I it's not a a hate thing. I just uh, you know, I don't know. I have a hard time. Uh, other than the Ecto One, I I love the Ecto One. I bought the Lego Ecto One. I bought, oh, yeah, I bought the great. bigger lego ecto one you know how they have like the oh, small yeah. one and they have the, i've I, got both so i've got both as well that's one that i'm i'm always in but uh i don't know ghostbusters for me it's just it's it's difficult yeah and and like ryan dole said the ghosts are so colorful and so vibrant and and i get there's probably a tooling component where they don't want to invest the money but dang like you just that that's your that's your spice on the shelf and it just doesn't get tapped into um yeah. Yeah. and and totally i this right. is we like to we like to make fun of Maddie Collector and and Mr. Toy Guru, but something the, the Mattel line did well for Ghostbusters was putting ghosts as like pack-ins for the figures, so that you over time you did get a lot of ghosts, even if some of them were woefully undersized, but at least you still got them. Um, yeah, you would you would think you would re use more ghosts. Ghosts are very yeah. imaginative, and you can do anything. You yeah. know what I mean? But yeah, it's, uh, yeah. So again. I really like this release, uh, but it's 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 not gonna it's not gonna I don't know it's not what I think this toy line needs. I did a big stream with with Craig um, for YHS and Toy Anxiety, and we really dove into like what we want to see. We did a lot of charts and everything, and and my only hope is that you know Hasbro was watching that. So you know this is nice, but it's I don't think I don't think we're at what we want to see. Uh, whether and again, if if Hasbro doesn't want to commit to it. Then sub the license out to somebody else, you know, like you're talking about Alex, or 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 bring Alex in, or let another toy company work if, with. If the they license. made a, if they got a guy like Alex to make those Ghostbusters just the way they are, okay, you don't have to go crazy with articulation. It's a yeah. Ghostbuster, like how yeah. nuts do you have to get, and just make them big and vibrant and mm -hmm. colorful, and have the ghosts be the same, and work your way up to like a Stay Puffed in that in that style. Dude, mm -hmm. people would go nuts. People would get excited for Ghostbusters. I promise. I because I'm not Ooh. the biggest Ghostbusters guy, and I would be all in. Does, does this sound like a job for Hatter Toys? Hmm. You know what? <laughs> Let's see. Is there? <laughs> I mean, you know, we're we're sort of getting on our feet, Jay. So you never know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Asbro, if you're watching, <laughs> I'm gonna um, get you. <laughs> and again, I uh, sure, yeah. If if Mondo did it, uh, Mondo Super Seven, NECA, like any of the mid majors that that could take Alex's work or sign up Alex for that work, um, let's do it. Let's Mondo do is it. great, but there's a scaling issue with Mondo. There so, is a scaling issue. You know, you can't go much bigger than the Ghostbusters. You can just kind of get almost equal well, scale. 
So I yeah. would love, again, nothing against Mondo, um, but it, I, one twelve scale, because then you can get big ghosts. You can go to yes. get the state puff. You get the pumpkin head guy. You get a nice Janine. You yep. can do the whole thing. Yeah, I, I love I love Mondo as well. But if, if Mondo was going to do it, they would have to figure out how to make a six inch toy line and not have it be a twelve inch toy line. Yeah, and that, you, that might just not be in their zone of interest. Yeah, maybe it isn't. Yeah, yeah. So then then and again, Alex works with other companies. So then Super Seven, whoever, just make it happen. Make it happen. Um, because yeah, if if you did the Mondo like twelve inch scale, there's not a chance in hell you're getting an Ecto at that point. But maybe if they did six inch, then maybe you could hit tap. But you know, we're not in those rooms, uh, Mad Hatter. We're not in those rooms. Maybe no, one day. No my well, maybe you're one just day. Making your own company. Eventually, you're going to be the room. <laughs> I I'll just create the room. Yeah, exactly. The room where it happens. Um, not a Mondo Ecto One. Um, okay. Uh, let's let's move on from here. Uh, we got a lot of reveals from Hasbro. We got Star Wars. We got Marvel Legends. Um, it, do you want to do Marvel Legends next? Or? I am. Uh, lead the way, baby. Yes, Marvel Legends. Marvel Legends is. I think will be a fun one. Yeah. Um, oh, let's. Uh, let's I love gold. Project. <laughs> I love gold. Actually, I loved uh, Toy Shiz's picture. Here we go. Got ourselves Model thing. One Iron Man. I mean, you know, uh, what's the? Uh, uh, yeah, I know that this is the comic relevance of yes. this guy. I have the I have the gray one or the silver one. For me, I'm fine with that. Uh, yeah. But I can see people people liking this. Yeah. I, I do love the retro cards. I, I think I love the retro cards. They they're very very nice. Yes. Yeah. Well done. Um. And I mean, all the Iron Man figures look great. Uh, I feel like is She Hulk the one everybody's talking about from this wave? Because I think that's she the great. one that I saw just spammed all over my feed when I yeah. was uh, there. Um, a classic She Hulk. This is the first time that I'm getting a real good look at her. I love a good She Hulk. So the hair looks I, great. I, she looks great. Yeah, I might I might be in. On this one, I you I mean, know she doesn't for... skip any days. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no days skipped edition. No days skipped. No way. She's not. She's not. She's not taking selfies in the gym. She's she's working. You know what I mean? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think uh, uh, again the sculpt just looks really, really good. Um, so I think for me. Uh, I I'm not a I get a Legends figure when it really hits me and I see it on the shelf. So if I see this one on the shelf, this one, this one's a a, a buy uh, for me. I think she looks absolutely fantastic. I think it's a buy for me too. I'm also a sucker for like the comic versions of stuff. Like yes, I I, I very rarely dip into like MCU stuff mm -hmm. um, just because I don't know. Um, and I like the MCU. I just you know I I I I, I always love like retro comic stuff. All yeah. the Avengers I have are retro comic. So yep. if I see this, uh, I say it's probably like a 95% uh, purchase. Yeah. Unless there's something really wrong up close. Uh, love love our friend Toysh's smoosher of Mir Murdoch. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, she comes with uh, weapons that she's uh, uh, broke or smushed, it looks like, or, or, or turned up. Uh, and then Gaty's toys, I love this exactly. Big hair, jacked. She's finally great. Exactly. Yeah. It's just she just looks freaking awesome. Yeah. Um, well, there's a couple of comments I did want to post in that I forgot to come back to. Um, Ryan Dole, how many plasma series figures uh, does the vamp hold? Two. I think two. Two. Um, o ring Walter Peck would have been made with a broken crotch. <laughs> I like that. Uh, uh, I want. Is 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 there a Walter? Sorry, maybe I'm not. There there is a Walter Peck in some iteration, right? I'm I'm so yeah. Maddie Collector, Maddie Collector gave us a Walter Peck. A Walter Peck. Okay. Yes. Pretty please. Can you please? <laughs> <laughs> May I please see the May storage please. facility? You know what? You know why I want? I want a Walter Peck for my Die Hard uh, set and my inevitable Die Hard set where yep. you get punched in the face by Holly McLean. How about exactly. Die Hard? Hey guys, can we give some love to Die Hard, Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters? How about, can I go on a tear? 
Die Hard is a toyetic movie. I'm sorry. You get John McClane, you get Hans Gruber, you get yeah. 17 freaking uh, uh, terrorists, you get a Holly McClane, you get uh, Ellis to get shot in the face, you get Nakatomi Plaza, you get a roof of Nakatomi. Can we give Die Hard? What's going on with Die Hard? Why Die Hard that is, is the shocking. Best action movie ever? And you get you get uh, Agent Johnson and Johnson in the in the in the freaking helicopter. Hey, we're gonna get a you know a twenty five percent hostage uh, uh, death. Yeah, I could deal with that, dude. I, we we don't get that. We don't get Walter Peck. I'm just saying, I'm done with my tear. But it's like Die Hard gets no love, and it pisses me off every day. Every day I wake up and I go I go to Toy Arc and I say, Is Die Hard a toy line yet? No, it's not, and I get angry. So I just want to say that we can move on now. <laughs> no i you're not wrong like um what the hell man what do you need do you need monsters and creatures like can can, can we uh, I, it's, I'm, that's shocking. What I'm saying. it's shocking we haven't gotten like a die hard line like i don't know if bruce willis yes. is tough to get whatever for um but i don't think i i don't know if it's a bruce and, willis and you got reginald vell johnson so reginald vell johnson plays yeah, a cop in cop. ghostbusters and in die hard that's right. And There's family still over. So you can get you can get Walter Peck and you can get uh, uh, the Carl the cop and you can bring them into your go. There's probably another relation that I'm not. You, you get the guy from the breakfast club The you know, like, you know, anytime you feel froggy, you can just go ahead and come mm. on. What the hell? And I think chat can correct me if I'm wrong, but the guy, the the big blonde hair guy that he fights with the most, I believe he also played Vigo the Carpathian no, no, in no, Ghostbusters that's not too. Vigo. But but Vigo is in the movie. Vigo is which one's small, Vigo? Vigo is in a small role where he's okay. the guy who takes the missile uh, box and he unfurls it. And okay, he all right. The, he shoots the cop squad car. Uh, but but he's in it. But you're you're thinking about the main main blonde. You're guy right. Okay, I got confused. There. Yes. All right. But he's yes. Vigo's in there. There's this cross. There's, Vigo, listen, the tooling can be done. You are one hundred percent right. You got three characters, three <laughs> actors in Die Hard. That were in that first Ghostbusters and the second Ghostbusters, yeah. obviously. And it's like everybody's just sleeping on Die Hard, man. It's like what the hell? I, I'm I'm pissed. Off. You got Huey Lewis. Huey Lewis is in in the <laughs> Huey Lewis looking terrorist. Oh it, yeah, the guy. He it's, it's, it does look like Huey Lewis. I yes. didn't think about that. Time. You get the guy, the, the 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 limo driver with the bear. He comes with a limo. And yeah. A bear. Nobody's doing it. Please, somebody. Toy companies make Die Hard. Maybe is hell? that is is this a, is this a job for uh, Ramen Toys? Because he can make the limo. Ace, and then... Ace, Ace, for the love of God, please, Die Hard. <laughs> It, it is. It really is the best action movie. It still holds up. It's a Christmas movie. Nobody's listening to me. Nobody. It, it's just. It, it's money on the table. I really doubt Bruce Willis. I mean, look, he's having some problems now. But uh, you know, I, I I doubt that it was like a likeness thing because I think I don't know. I just I I, I yeah. don't think it's that. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I I, I fully back you on this. I totally back that's you. My, that's my. That's my. I'll, I'll get off that. Topic. You. You can get on the soapbox whenever you want, my friend. <laughs> we have uh, over well over five hundred people watching right now. Uh, if you if you don't know, if we hit four hundred likes, giving away a vamp, ladies and gentlemen. All right. That's crazy. So uh, we have over five hundred. So if just anybody, at least you know three fourths of the viewing audience right now, just hit the like button. We would be at four hundred. So. Hit it, mm. hit it, everybody. Um, mm. but uh, but yeah, uh, this this wave looks pretty uh, darn good. Um, we got we got ourselves a count, oh, Nefaria, and then Nefaria. um, Whiplash rounds out this wave. These are would you would you would you want to pair uh, Jay? Would no. you want to pair that Whiplash with Motu Whiplash and have like nah. Whiplash? <laughs> Like it'll be like an '80s buddy buddy comedy, like Whiplash and Whiplash, and they're just kind of like yeah. next to each other. <laughs> sure. Yeah. You know they, you know and they, like maybe like, five yeah. people would ever get it if they ever look at my toy show. <laughs> How happy would you be though when somebody gets it? You're gonna be like, yeah, that's what I was going for. Uh, um, Studio Hedges covertly watching this on mute during Easter dinner. Is that a vamp giveaway for tonight? Same deal as usual. Google form then Duck Grace. Thanks in advance for the silent intel. Um, I don't know how to, maybe he can read lips right now, but yes, duck race, Google form. Yes. Um, hit the like, hit the like, hit the like button, everybody. Yes, the like is um, what you get. 
but uh but yeah all right let's let's uh, keep moving on here we have some uh speaking of gi joe um, we got to see uh, Cobra Ferret, uh, which will be a Pulse exclusive, much like the vamp that we're giving away tonight, which is which is a bit of a bummer. Um, but you know, uh, not. I mean, it's uh, at least it's not like a Walmart exclusive or something. I feel like people are gonna have a chance to chance to buy this thing. Yeah, you get a chance. I I I I, I was I was kind of fake. Fake complaining before, like I could have gotten a second vamp. I just slept on it, uh, but uh, I might get two of these. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. Um. I, just to me, just the world building we're getting right now with GI Joe Classified is unreal. Um. Uh, yeah. The fact that we have the vamp, we have um the dragonfly incoming, and we've got the uh, uh the hiss tank. Um. Not to be confused with piss tank um is uh you know it's it's really really cool um but it is a post exclusive um do we know the price yet let's see here do we get 700 to 100 if it's okay what what would you pay for this i wouldn't pay 70 dollars uh this. how much was the vamp 100 vamp was 100 with a fi- it was like 99 dollars with the figure all right so this one let's see i don't think it's 100 i nah. think it's I think it's 55? 70. 70? I want to say 70. Ooh, I feel like 70 is too spendy. It is, but <laughs> I think that they can get 70. I say I'm with two bad bases. I'm going to say I would I think 60 is fair. You think 60? I think it by the way, I'm not saying that 70 is fair. I'm just saying that I think they're going to go 70. New Ram cycle is 55 dollars. Oh, there you go. If that Ram mm. cycle is 55 how big is the ram cycle again i i mean i don't know I put the, how do I... Yeah. um so anyway um but there you go and then uh, we've got some uh, uh figure images of the retro card beachhead snow serpent um and cobra eel um which is cool we're getting in the, the the some of these figures that are kind of expensive in the different versions so cool that we're getting um different versions of hard to yep, find yep. figures um but yeah, anyway yeah. so gi joe classified then what else we got um some star oh okay everyone was super excited about this dino bot swoop um I, I don't collect modern transformers but for those that are excited about it i'm happy for you an 86 Dinobot swoop. Um, funny enough, I have a few of the 86, only the 86 figures. I go mm-hmm. very lightly with uh, with Transformers. So yeah. I, I actually might get this because I think, is this the last Dinobot that you need? I, yes, I think it is. It I is. So it then, is. yeah, I'm definitely going to get them. Yeah. If this complete, yeah, there you go. It this does. Yep. The 86 Dinobots. So. There we go, baby. So I, I know that everyone's excited about it. Um, so whoop in for the win. Um, but yeah, uh, as talking about, so I really hope this is released before the end of the year. I mean, if they're if they're showing it now, I feel like it will get released within this year. Yeah, I think so. Um, uh, yeah, we're at 532 people. So hit the like button, everybody, if you haven't done it yet. I don't because someone gives 311 likes so far. OK, so we're on our way. That's it. You need Mr. Matt Hatter. You need you need eighty nine more, and you're you're in vamp territory, baby. Nine more again. We got time. We got time. I think it's gonna happen. Oh yeah, we, it, but it, but we can't rest on our laurel, laurels. No, here. no, never rest on your laurels. Um, uh, Anthony, can I get a swoop, 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 swoop? You know, that 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 salt and pepper song, uh, swoop. Remember that uh, from swoop. the. Baby, <laughs> next, uh, I, next parody song. <laughs> we'll talk about that. We'll talk about McFarland stuff in a second. Oh boy. Um. Uh. Yeah. Swoop. I. I. I have a vintage one, and I think. Yeah, I had to piece it together. I think I had to take three broken swoops to make one complete swoop. <laughs> uh, that's one of those like I mean, so many of those G one Transformers just instantly broke. Um, but I, I feel like Swoop was one of the most breakable. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I never had the original Swoop, so. No? Oh, I wasn't, I wasn't I wasn't cool like you guys. 
Awkward. Uh, <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> uh, let's see. Can Pete swim Canada with the van? Uh, sure. As long if you're out of the country, you just got to pay for shipping. I, I'm not rich. I do this for fun. So uh, if, if you're in the States, I'll pay for shipping. If you're out of the States, you just got to pay for shipping. That's all I'll ask. Yes. Come on. Jay's not rich. He, he's a toy collector. You're never rich. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I ain't got no money. I'm yeah, broke. Those, those things are all times. <laughs> Always broke. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, the one Star Wars reveal, uh, I love getting hammerhead. Um, love love me some hammerhead. I thought you were gonna say um, I love getting hammered, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Hammerhead <laughs> is is uh. <laughs> um, and I believe we're getting re like box carded. Because we're already getting these figures with the ghost, if you did the HasLab ghost, which I did, but I guess we're getting regular carded ones as well. That I I, I would assume the difference is the ghost one will come with the the mural on the card, and then these will come with a different. Did I back. see that correctly? Was that Zeb Aurelius that you just passed? Uh, before? Oh, yeah, Zeb. You, are you a Zeb fan? I have no idea. Oh. Zeb <laughs> I, <just read> the <laughs> I am so. I am so done with Star Wars, man. I know the uh, hammer. I know Hammerhead from the original. Sure. And and, it, <laughs> and this 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 I, dude, this franchise has passed me by, my friend. And I was a Power of the Force guy. I just don't know him now. Damn. So I'm just like, it's it's. Uh, this is probably like. I mean, my daughter's not old enough, but this has to be like when a kid is like showing you the new stuff. And you're like, I have yeah. no idea. I I got no clue. You know. I, I will say like rebels is a really good show i mean most of the I dave heard. filoni I dave filoni animated shows are good but and again i love dave filoni but he likes to take his time to get to like where it's like i don't know like you're you're locked in um okay so if you have to be patient enough to like hang through a at, at, at least in my opinion, a decent amount of episodes that normally if you didn't know it was going to get really good, you probably wouldn't stick around for. Um, but uh, that's my one critique of Dave Filoni. But once it gets going, um, a Filoni run show is is really, really uh, satisfying. And Rebels is so, so good. Um, animation is not good, but or, or it's OK. But the, the actual Star Wars of it all, the lore of it all is okay. is really good um exactly season one really is good. slow but like once it gets going it's so freaking good yes uh, uh, what, what is it hold on what is that avatar can we go <laughs> oh so this is the ryan dole fan club i don't know if you're aware i am but now he changed the name rd <laughs> <laughs> ryan dole ryan dole really is like a cult leader he really is like uh he's he's like a figurehead at this point he, he really is he really really is i just saw it i'm like no let's go back we got <laughs> I, you can't just let that slide. All right, sorry. We can um, move on now. <laughs> uh, Sixty likes to go. Uh, resistance is his biggest flub. Did he do resistance? I I didn't realize he did that because that is definitely a flub for sure. Wait, who's his? Oh, Dave Filoni. Um, Bad Batch. Uh, uh, this season's been really good for Bad Batch. Um, all right. Uh, Sixty likes to go. Thank you, Torgi Gasaurus. Uh, let's keep moving on from the Star Wars. Is there any other Hasbro stuff? Oh, we got images of that swoop, by the way. Oh, I like that. Swoop like is looking that. good. Yeah, it's good. Nice long beak. I like it. Yeah, swoop is looking really nice. Really, really nice. So he's he's getting ready. <laughs> he's getting ready to swoop in on our wallets, right, guys? <laughs> <It's>, uh... <laughs> Ah, uh, I have too much fun here. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um. All right. Let's talk about our a friend to you and I, Todd McFarlane, had a metric ton of reveals. Uh, let me start with this one because it'll be the shortest amount of time we'll spend on it. Uh, McFarlane's bringing back his sports figures. Yay. So I guess Hasbro <laughs> did starting lineup for like five seconds and then gave up. So it's back in McFarland's hands, baby. I mean, hold for applause. It's not coming, I guess. <laughs> um, uh, I, I 
people that know me know I'm a diehard baseball fan. I love I this baseball. is this is your wheelhouse. It is. Uh, I'm a diehard Padre fan. I watch every game. Die and hard? they've Die been hard. the action figure line. Or the... They've been terrible for a long time. But I, I'm kind of upset, to be honest, Matt Hatter, because for years the Padres didn't have any relevant players except for Tony Gwynn, Trevor Hoffman. Um, and so this line was pretty much non-existent to me because like I'm not gonna get I want my team. And finally, the Padres had our rel- even though we lost Soto, relatively star studded and no Star Wars or, 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 or sorry, Padres representation here. It's all these other teams. So that's my only critique. Well, I mean, I think you should kind of lay off of Terrence Hoffman because I think he's actually pretty good. I Trevor think. Hoffman. Oh, Trevor. Trevor. <laughs> I thought maybe I could like fake it and see if, if we can like just have like like I can just have like a fake debate, but uh, yeah, it didn't work. So, um, but by the way, I saw fun. him. I saw Uncle Toddy pass right by me. FYI. Oh, he did. Did you say yeah. hi to him? I he was with a crew. He was he he passed right by me. I got a glimpse of his aura, and then he he went by, and then he uh, he saw Jay Lee. Jay Lee had a booth, and he was talking to him, and I was like, "That's Uncle Todd." But there was a whole entourage with him, so I couldn't do anything. Mm. Um, well, next time, next time. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, there you go. Super excited for those that want those figures. I will not be buying any of them, any of them though, but hopefully some from, uh, uh, Padres to come soon. Okay. Matrix six inch movie maniacs. Um, these are statues. I, this is too retro for me. It's too nineties McFarland for me, but, uh, what do you think? Who's going to buy this? Is... <laughs> I don't know, man. I I love this movie or the first one, but is this gonna sell? Like I I, <laughs> I like I feel the same way about like the Warcraft license that he got. I was like, like I I can't imagine more than like fifty people buying this. I I I, I just I I I'm not trying to hate. I just I are people gonna buy this? Like if you like statues, you probably get like. You probably go to like an iron studios or you go to like a stat like true. Like, you, you collect statues. So, you know, I mean, I have some, I it's, it's when I think of McFarlane, I don't think of like stats. So I don't know. I'm just kind of like, who's the audience for is Are people going to buy it? Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Well, I think you'll get just casuals that buy these, you know, like I don't think action figure collectors buy these. I think, people that are fans of the matrix or the 40 year old virgin or the big lebowski or days and confused might pick them up or maybe even more so people that are trying to find a gift for somebody and they go oh you love the 40 year old virgin here's a statue of a shirtless steve carell with his okay i will i will say this at least the 40 year old version and and big lebowski and the days and confused they're more original there's not a ton of like Matrix had its time, many statues, many figures, many, like it had a long time. And that stuff, whenever I go to Frankenstein, that's like the stuff that sits in one of those booths. Oh, of course. Where it's all like yellowed. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. It's like, like Matrix all, already feels like it had its time. But like, I've never seen a 40 year old virgin statue. You know, like that's, that's something true. like, okay, this is like a unique thing. This represents a movie and there's not competition out there. So I, I actually think this stuff might do better then you know just i don't know like more matrix stuff that's that's uh yeah. you know that that's the taste right so ha- yeah you can have this if you get like a high school play set you have this thing just leaning <laughs> on it <laughs> uh, um so yeah I, you know i they're fine whatever um i get, I I get that fine. dude i i get him yeah. yeah it's all right um <laughs> let's go uh, we got ourselves some more DC. We have some Booster Gold. Love this Robin, Tim Drake Robin, Rebirth style. Mr. Freeze looks pretty good. Um, any yeah. any add ons yeah. there? Oh, it's fine. Eh, it's um, fine. Um, yeah, it's fine. Um, and then we've got ourselves Sports Master Reverse Flash and Manhunter. Um, I, don't I don't really know them. Yeah. Uh, these are the chases uh, in 2024. But the thing that I was most excited to see. (laughs) Now that your rose is in bloom, a light hits the gloom on the 
Gray. Have you done a, 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 a kiss, a kiss, kiss by a rose, kiss from a rose? Uh, have I? What do you mean? Have I done? Have I? Have you, uh, have you used that as a cover song? I don't think you have yet. No, I haven't. I've I've karaokeed many a time, dude. When I karaoke, I karaoke hard. People don't know that know that about me, okay? Uh, but uh, first of all, I hope you didn't get a copyright warning just on what happened because it, when I closed my eyes, I was like this seal in the room. I, it was crazy. Um, but I'm glad you stopped on this, and I'm glad you have the same reaction that I did because I'm all in. This is. Oh left to right baby oh the yeah. only thing uh i was thinking i was like the other one had to build a figure i guess this one doesn't make sense that it's oh, it, oh, 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 oh wait oh my god hold on, my friend oh my god hold on. i have if to shut my stupid mouth how about the big bat thing <laughs> from the that's <laughs> the, the big scene where they're the running and <laughs> <laughs> the giant flashback bat yes <laughs> what this is wild this is actually a brilliant idea. Oh my god. I thought, look, the cops are coming. It's crazy. I thought, what the hell is going on out there? Oh I, goodness. I a, uh, Hello, LA. You know what part of me was hoping for, Jay? Uh what? I do like that bat. Uh -huh. I, I have a little movie theater playset, and I would have loved a Nicole Kidman Ooh. in that in that in that playset. I was hoping I could take you know amc the, at the movies yeah amc i could take the uh, the build a fit what if the what if the dude you know what every build a figure i think should be nicole kidman that that that's my new theory moving forward into 2025 okay, okay? okay. but i thought that that was going to be it then then maybe when you said that i can kind of have like an amc setup but i'll take this bat i will take this giant bat that that is that is a oh ryan doll bravo dr oh, chase man. should be a chase Figure. You know what? Dole, you know what? Dole is a. Can I use my one f word? Can I use it? Oh please. Okay, I'm gonna use my one f word. Dole is a fucking brilliant guy. Okay, I, I just said it. He's he's Amen. kind of a genius. All right. He's uh, which makes me think he's like, makes me think he's like secretly rich. I don't know if you ever get that vibe. Like I think he's like, a, I think he's like an under the radar rich guy. But that's okay. But yeah, man, dude, a Doctor Chase Chase figure would be. Oh my God, McFarlane, are you listening? Is Uncle Todd listening? That's what we need, man. Yes, That's agreed. What we need. Um, also, ooh, Comic Con Sugar and Spice two pack, uh, yeah. two faces henchmen with Drew Barrymore and I don't know who the other actress was, but uh, the other actress is also like a known actress. Yes, I'm name. so sorry. She's a big fan of the show, and I'm forgetting now. Is she really? No, I don't know. <laughs> you meant Drew Barrymore is a big fan of the show. She definitely is. Yeah, she has sent in a, a email once or twice. Dude, a sugar uh, and spice that whole that that whole scene is ridiculous, but I would love it. I would love the Debbie the, Mazar. Yeah, Debbie Mazar. Yes, that's right. That's right. Did you know that when it's not, my <laughs> eyes become a light. Mm. It's mm. impossible to like when that song starts to not complete the. Mm. <laughs> you, you have to finish it. You have to finish it. <laughs> Damn, um, a Dr. Chase Chase figure. That's that's almost too clever for McFarlane. <laughs> <laughs> if there's one critique I would have is that they're reusing that swooshy cape I think they had in the um, Dark Knight Batman with this Robin figure. So Cape Master, if you're out there, like I need a I need a cloth goods cape for this Robin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I can I can see that. Because Baby, I can pay you to a kiss from a rose on the gray. Ooh, man, chasing those notes. Uh, do you think uh, that Riddler will come with his, like, he, like mutated by all the knowledge head? Ooh. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. But they won't. Think, I don't uh, think so. Do you think that Two-Face, I mean, I know it doesn't make sense with his outfit. But you think the two face comes with one face? <laughs> is his just just standard Harvey Dent face? I mean, we only it was like a it was like a news reel, right? Where we saw like Tommy yeah, that, Lee that Jones. That news reel is is <laughs> it's so stupid. Kid, that news reel moment is so dumb. <laughs> Not only a news reel that's cinematic. That there was there was like there was somebody like filming all the angles like a movie. 
instead of an overhead. And for some reason, Batman is in the courtroom. It, it, the dumbest, probably the dumbest scene. But I love it. I love how dumb. It is, right? It's it's. Uh, <laughs> and I love how after it doesn't penetrate the paper. It's like ah. Yeah. <laughs> It just misses him. Oh God, I love it. Batman <laughs> was he just sitting? Was he was he in the back? Like he was, just, he was sitting he in was the sitting there. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's such. I'm not gonna say a bad movie. It's a. It's a movie. Let's just say that. <laughs> You're right. He just jumps out of the courtroom. Yeah, he just jumps out. He just he jumps. I think he jumps over the jury. He does. And, he yeah, does. he just jumps over the jury. But the angles are cinematic, and he's, just watching there. It, and he's watching it on the news. It like he's watching the. It's not shown to you like this is what happened. He is watching the news version of it on TV, which really could be a surveillance camera, uh, just from the, at the very most. But you know, yeah, fine. <laughs> Batman had jury duty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I love it. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> but that's why I love the Schum Joel Schumacher movies. They're just, they're 66 Batman with like late 90s WB budgets. Yeah, that's oh what he's going God. for. He's, he's, it's unapologetically that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's fine. <laughs> but it's so good. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, you broke me. You broke me. With that one. Just, I didn't even. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> it's so dumb. Oh. Uh, um. Anyway. Uh. But I'm. I'm. I. I need all of these. John. Uh. At, at Hero Source Toys and Collectibles in Sanford, North Carolina, he gets uh McFarland stuff in. I need to make sure he he puts aside a a wave of of these figures because I need them. I yeah, need them. These, these are must gets. Um, we're at, uh, 377 likes, Ooh, folks. So close. Here's the thing. Like, it's, <laughs> he could have been a character witness. I mean, I, <laughs> so he shows up, I, I guess he shows up as Batman as a character witness. <laughs> he shows up. <laughs> how do you explain, how do you explain though the cinematic angles? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll even take the Batman being in there, but like, how do you explain the rest? But you're of right. It would have been so much better as a flashback because then you could have had. That. Yeah, make it like a flashback or make it like, I understand you don't want a, a, a sad surveillance camera to capture <laughs> this. Like, dude, the movie should have started out like that. If, mm -hmm. what if the movie started out with that moment and then cuts to like Batman for, you know, like, 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 here's how the movie starts out. It starts okay. out with Bruce Wayne talking to Harvey Dent, and he's like, "Hey, hey, Harvey, I, I really don't think you should push these guys because, yeah. like, you know, they, they're going." And he's like, "Bruce, I got it, I got this and that." And then in the courtroom, and then like that whole thing happens, and he's like, "No," and he's holding his like almost dead friend. Boom, yeah. Batman forever, and and then Ooh. you go right into the movie. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Way better. That's how I know you're a good screenwriter, Hatter. You, just, <laughs> you literally solve that whole thing. <laughs> I mean, now you're invested. His friend, yeah. his friend is maimed almost beyond uh, recognition. Exactly, and now you care. Now you care about the relationship. Yeah, now you care. Yeah, we we, we want to care again. Um, <laughs> ooh, fair point by Gary here. Another wave, and no Alfred, no Michael. Is it Guh? I don't know how to pronounce it. Like Goff, Goff, whatever his name yeah, is. Yeah, Michael. The original Alfred for the first four movies. I know. No Alfred. Uh, Mister Wayne. Um, Maybe his likeness right. What if his likeness rights are insanely expensive? <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, I think there is a, if I'm not mistaken, a third party company that does him in the 112 scale. I, I could <clears> be <throat> wrong. I want to say that I, I, I saw that. And they just call uh -huh. it like Alf or they just call it like Butler or something. Okay. Um, I could be wrong, but I, I don't think I am. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see, just a random question that I kind of, or at least any updates on Super 7 Team and T 2003 figures. I know they'll be up for pre order in April, but anything else? Um, I may or may not have seen some images of stuff that relates and pertains to that, yeah, but I, I, I don't have any other knowledge outside of that. Um, 
I do have something to say about Super 7 after going to WonderCon, but maybe we'll do that later. Oh, okay. All right. We'll talk about it. No, it's nothing like big. I just something. Let's talk, we'll, we'll talk about Super 7 after we get through McFarlane here. Mm. Uh, but we got we got, we got got stuck in a, in a Gotham <laughs> News reel. Hey, I, th- hey, this was an important conversation, I think. <laughs> it had to happen. It had to happen. Um, But anyway, uh, let's, let's keep going here. Oh, this was pretty cool. How about a Tumblr with a Lucius Fox? Some dark stuff for the Dark Knight fans. I, I did see this. I, I like uh, Lucius Fox. Um, have they? Is this the first? Um, is this the first Tumblr? Uh, for McFarland, yes. But uh, this is okay. This is a question I have. If it's if that's the scale, that's way too small. That's very, um, so that's it, one, it, number that's one. Say, it looked very. It might not be the scale. Okay. Uh, th- do we know for sure it's seats two? Because it looks tiny in this picture. Yeah, it's seats two because Rachel. Remember, she was dying yeah. in, the, in the in the in the in the in the not the back seat. Rachel. Yeah, and, and then Rachel, and then he hopped I over know. the thing. Yeah, so it's one hundred percent a two seater. But then again, so it's in nice real then. life. But it's not going to be in the toy. There's no, no way no. he makes it. Hell no, hell no. Um, but okay, it looks great. If but I will say this. The Mattel one, which I own, looks really good. So if if he doesn't make this large enough, I don't know if it's necessary. I don't probably sell. What the hell am I talking about? I think it's going to sell. This is a it's very popular sell. popular model. Um, but the thing I'm more excited about is is this our first Morgan Freeman Lucius Fox action Ooh. figure? And I think I don't think Mattel tapped into the Morgan Freeman Lucius Fox. Uh, I, they didn't, did they? Did they? I don't think they did. With their uh, movie masters, classics, movie masters. I think so. I, I, or I don't think so. I think you're right. Yeah, so, yeah, it's our first Lucius Fox. Um, Can I make my very first Azim from Prince of Thieves, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, uh, Morgan Freeman character. That's, I mean, there's so with Morgan Freeman. I mean, you got so many options. You got uh, uh, to your point, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. You've got uh, Shawshank Red, Redemption. Red from you've, Shawshank Redemption. You got seven. Uh, uh, what's Ooh. this character's name in seven? I mean, you I got like you it. got a multitude of. Uh, he played God and Bruce Almighty. Like you, you got tons of Morgan Freeman customization options. I love the idea of a Morgan Freeman character. Uh, 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 action figure that that's pretty unique right didn't you get uh, yeah. the memo <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i love that <laughs> so much um uh let's see hold on take two says i want to press it in here uh morgan freeman didn't care about actually royalties at the time but retirement's coming up hey there you go take two hey make you that know cash what? morgan freeman's gotta get that bag gotta get that paper oh 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 we my did. god, the goal is made. Woohoo! Did we make it too easy? Because that was that I was thought really 400 cool. was I don't know. I thought maybe the E of Little Faith. I thought 400 uh, yeah. was pushing it, but damn. You know, there you go. Um <laughs> poor Gary. They're not doing Bruce Almighty action figures, Jay. Give up that dream. I no, will never hold on give it up, second. Gary. Jay, hold on a second. You have a Jim Carrey Riddler, and now you have this Morgan Freeman. You can create <gasps> and a Steve clever, Carell. We got a Steve Carell. You got a Steve Car- dude. If you get Tor- clever virgin. Enough, you can make it happen. There you go. We're there. We're there. We're we're one hundred percent there. And it's all McFarland. It's it's all McFarland that's going to provide this. Wow, McFarland <laughs> provides. <laughs> McFarland provides. Um, <laughs> Gary, I stand correct. <laughs> <laughs> I love the the Homer. The Homer uh, backwards into the bush. (laughs) 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 Uh, We're having a vamp party, people. Will this be the biggest duck race ever? Gonna get a vamp. That's crazy. That you know what? How much does a vamp go? I'm gonna. I'm I'm looking. Yeah, let's actually. I got. I got the internet right here. Just let's eBay it up with the power of the internet. Let's see. Uh, Uh, GI Joe classified. Just don't look up my listing for the van. <laughs> uh, let's see. Just the figure alone is $70. I oh, can see that. Sold. 
Let's go to sold because they put those sold. VHS tapes for yeah, two thousand okay. dollars. Let's yeah, see what Flipboard Flipboard's doing here. Uh, yeah, let's see. One seventy five. Well, that's or best offer. One. This is sold. One seventy four. One fifty. One eighty two with bids. Yeah, with free shipping. Man, that guy. That that was. That's a good run up. Sometimes you know the auctions. Sometimes they produce. The sometimes best. people just get like I gotta get one eight one ninety one ninety. 184, 178. Come on now. This imagine is a good giveaway, that, people. Imagine hitting a like button and you get $180 worth of stuff. That's crazy. That's insane. That's 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 uh that's the power of GDL, I guess. Yeah, not reconsidering at all. I, I have one. I bought one for myself, and Matt Bush gave this to me, and he's usually like, whatever you want to do with it. So let's share the wealth, let's share the love. Um, <laughs> two guys talking toys. My duck is currently in a rocky training montage. <laughs> uh, you better be doing like some shadow boxing right now because <laughs> he's gonna need it. Ooh, ghost tab. All Jay needs is an Ashley Judd figure for an Along Came the Spider diorama. Ooh, there you go. Like that that <laughs> Ashley Judd, uh, Morgan Freeman combi movie action. Like, was there a better run than those two? Like. Yeah, that was a good one. Along Came a Spider was like a good one, good thrill. Although it had one of the worst, if that's the one I'm thinking about, it had one of the worst CGI car crashes. Yes, like, I've ever seen. It's like it's unreal. It's, it's like a cartoon, basically. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, but anywho, uh, it was, it's, what are we talking about? Okay, we're still on McFarland. Um, let's see, we've got ourselves some. Um, uh collector's editions the penguin starfire captain Boom boomerang i love the penguin he looks kind of cool that's pretty nice neat. Re nice retro penguin yeah uh we got ourselves bat a manga version of batman sergeant rock superboy what is sergeant rock from he's remember. one of those like uh he's a comic book character he's a dc have you ever seen those like when you're looking through comic book bins and you see that one comic book and you're like, I've never read this before in my life, but that, I guess that's this Sergeant, exists. That's Sergeant Rock. <laughs> that's Sergeant okay. Rock. Yeah. Um, so that's cool. Um, let's see what else. Okay, people are saying, how do you enter the drawing? Oh, oh, if you've never done this before, I make a Google form and you put in your name, your YouTube name, and uh, and you have to be here while we do the duck race in order to win it okay so uh once you put your name in hang around until we do the duck race i'll put a form up closer to when we're doing it um and then you get to play along uh, at home yeah let's talk about these animated series figures they all look awesome uh, uh phantasm uh bruce wayne come on now this is this is a pretty damn good wave no no sh no shitty uh cell shading on these by the looks of it I know I'm angry. Why are you angry? Because I gotta get these, and I kind of <laughs> got them already. I, I I have four of these pretty much in the DC Direct Paint, which you know, not to be like an elitist, but it, it is better. Like it, like that matte paint they used was just better. Oh, but it was. But that Bruce Wayne, they didn't. They never made that. So McFarland knows what he's doing. He, he knew what he was doing with Condiment King. Uh. Lock is it lock up or what's the other one? That one I don't need. I'm not that familiar with mm -hmm. that character. But this one, uh, in in a suit, brown suit, Bruce Wayne. I mean, that that's that's dirty. That's dirty. It cool. is. Yeah, as a build a Bruce. That's uh. Yeah. No fun, but you need it. I know. Giving it. away the rest. I guess you could um, sell them. You you know you get the put the Bruce Wayne together, sell the others. You probably make some. Some of it back, you know? Maybe. Hey, you, we got to ask Flipboard. Let's bring him on. We got to yeah, ask him. Yeah, I think Flipboard would know. Um, and then uh, this sick, sweet Joker mobile. Okay, this is cool. This never came out. So this is a must buy for me. This is not like the Bat Cycle where it kind of came out in different sort of colors and you know, it's missing some stuff. This one I can get excited about. It's brand new. It, 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 I think. I want Doe probably knows more than I do on this, but I want to say that they previewed this back in the day. Like this was supposed to come out for DC Direct, mm -hmm. but I don't think this ever came out. I never owned it if it did, but now I think here we go. Right? Is 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 am I right? I I think so. I think you're right. I think you're right. Um. So yeah, this is this is a big deal. Um. 
for sure. Uh, they did preview it for DC Direct. They previewed it, right? But yeah, it mm-hmm. never, it never, yeah, shown never, but never released. Yeah. It even comes with the Toysha sticker on it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, listen, he's got to protect his. I'm Um. Uh, Dole definitely needs that. I, I, think, I think you know what? That's me and Dole. I think we do a double review on this one. Ooh, Finally. I like that. I've been trying to nail that kid down forever, being like, "Hey, let's do it," and he keeps on giving me, "Oh, I'm working on this project," and then I find out he's not. He's just kind of like you know blowing me off. But like, I definitely double review me and Dole, Joker, I, Joker Mobile. I don't know anyone that works as hard as ryan i know he actually works really hard like (laughs) like i'll do well he'll come on and do this stream on a sunday and then like we'll you know we'll chat after we go off live whatever like yeah i just took this quick hour break from you know putting together ghostbusters like i go back and do like five more hours of work or whatever i'm just like god dang dole i i will i will say this dole and i are on different sides of the spectrum in terms of things we do in the film industry uh-huh. um he probably has one of the hardest jobs like oh for sure of, like it is uh, my job is like I uh, I've been pretty lucky the last four or five years, but it consists of a lot of like making sure that problems don't exist from mm-hmm. the beginning. But his job is like taking care of problems that do exist after <laughs> the the start. And it's like it's brutal. It's like I, I have seen uh, it is a stressful job. It is uh, it's it's um, it's one of the hardest ones, I think, in the industry and and. And it is also a job that, like, I've told him this, like, like this town is still like figuring out. It's like, like they don't, mm-hmm. like they know what a writer does. They're like, here's stupid, take the script, bring me a good one yeah. in two weeks. The, the, that job, it's like they're still trying to like figure it out. Not to get like, you know, into like how movies work, but it's, it's like, it's like this weird, like they don't understand. It's like, and they demand stuff, and they're like, we need these things to happen. It's like I can't make magic. So it's, uh, he does. Just by knowing what he does, I know that he probably busts his ass. Yeah, he 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 he, he does not get the credit he deserves. That's all. Even yeah, seeing his exactly credit and cheering for it in a movie or whatever he gets paid, he does not get enough. Um, <laughs> is Hatter the Ryan Dole fan club? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I want to join, but they won't. My my membership is still pending. It still says, uh, <laughs> I keep refreshing, and it still has a move. It's hey, it's a it's a it's a tight knit uh, club. You gotta. It is. Really, I, it's I a four year wait. I hear. Right. The first question was like, "Do you love Ryan Dole?" I said yes, but I guess wasn't enough. You didn't, enough. you didn't love him enough. Um, and then we've got these music maniacs. Uh. These are cool. Um, call me when you get Jimmy Page or or Ooh, uh, you know some of the <laughs> some of the heavier hitters for me personally. Man, that's um, uh, that's scathing, Jay. <laughs> no love, <laughs> no love for these gods. Of I mean, metal. I'm fine. I, listen, these are fine. Like Ozzy, love Ozzy, love Alice Cooper, Rob Zombie, Eddie from Iron Man. And sure, that's fine. Okay, but <laughs> if you aren't tapping into the Led Zepp, I don't care. I don't care. Oh, and that's, I, I, but that's it's a licensing thing. Well, you're, um, you're a music. You're a musician too. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, you, you have. A I am. Opinion on it, you know. But and again, I don't. Again, these are cool. But I'll I think it's also because. Oh, they, gone. They don't. They don't. Zeppelin doesn't really license themselves out as much, so it's probably harder to get. But if they did like a Led Zeppelin, Robert Plant, Jimmy Page, John Paul Jones, John Bonham, like a stage set, like they've done with with kiss and metallica like oh my god i'd be over the moon i still want the whole wu-tang clan and i don't think sure. i'm gonna get it like Absolutely. like like super seven has been like <laughs> they've been touching on like it might happen but it's not gonna happen it's like like why can't they just make the whole wu-tang clan i don't know i yeah, i i, I, I and ult- in ultimate form yeah i don't okay. disagree i don't uh, give me give me the iconic people uh josh homie i j- love josh Hami, love queens of the stone age um i know i have that jimmy page that was forever ago they made a jimmy page i have that um i mean rush tenacious d ramones um oingo boingo sure that'd be fun give me oingo give me boingo would be uh a, a, a kind of cool although yeah i mean would you need more than the dance i don't know 
<laughs> um, but anywho, uh, D12 with a build Eminem. I like that. Do you guys like it? <laughs> build Eminem. <laughs> um, but anywho, that's just that's just me. Okay. Any, uh, I think that's, I think that's everything from WonderCon. Pretty sure. I think so. All right. So you okay? You said you had uh, something you want to say about Super Seven and WonderCon. Uh, I will say about Super Seven that um, I have now seen all of the Simpsons line um, up oh, to date out yeah. of package, and I think price be damned, price, whatever you want to talk about price, that if that line doesn't continue, it's a crying shame because um, it, they are beautiful. They're probably the best Simpson figures that I've seen out of package. Now, there are problems with, I think, the way this marketing went. I don't know whose idea it was to not start releasing the primary family right mm -hmm. away. I don't know why it was like Space Homer. Why wasn't yeah. it Real Homer? Why, but when I saw them, it like made me sad. Because yeah. I was like, these are, this could be like the best Simpsons line. These are beautiful. But like, yeah. where is it going to go? You know, and I talked to the guy and he's like, hey, man, and like, it wasn't, um, uh, it was this is somebody that worked there. Yeah. And it was just like, you know, this, the Disney deal affected this Simpsons yeah. line, but we are trying to negotiate for it to be like its own thing. Now, I know Jax is making it. Mm -hmm. I'll be very honest. The pictures I saw kind of looks like Happy Meal figures. I don't know. Maybe I got to see no them up bueno. close. I mean, I think for the price, I think they're fine. Yeah, the price it's... is fine. But like, I, I'd, I'd rather like, I don't know, man. I saw them up close. I was like, sure. They look really good. Way. Huh? They, they look really good. Johnny Nostalgia will complain about there's no lines or whatever. But I, I do. I agree. I think they look really, really I good. I think they look great. I thought like I, I ended up picking up that Kang and Kodos. Yeah, oh, I, yeah, I think they look beautiful. And I was just kind of like, I was telling my wife, I was like, this is a shame if they cannot figure out a way to price these appropriately and make this into a line. Again, I don't know why they didn't release the whole family. Maybe that's what disconnected people. The price probably disconnected people too, $55. But uh, it's a shame because uh, that's, uh, you know, Simpsons. Simpsons, uh, money on the table. Again, I think these are okay. These Jack specifics ones. Uh, I, I have to see them up close. Yeah. But um, but the thing is, uh, so I I have heard in conversations with Super Seven people, even people not in Super Seven, um, why they lost or why they're not doing Simpsons, and I I can't put all that much on Super Seven for the matter, right? Because I think there is that Disney license thing and blah 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 blah. Right, right, right. Um, it's not for me to get into the details, but. Uh, and, and knowing some of that situation, it, it's, it's an unfortunate situation that has led to them not being able to pursue that line. Because I agree, I think in seeing what those figures turn out to be, it is a shame that we're it, we're not getting more of it uh, as of this moment, right? And um, and yeah, that that's uh, just one of those things. It's one of those licensing things that sucks. And uh, we got Jack Specific making, to your point, they're cheaper, significantly cheaper and smaller. Um, but they they do look like Happy Meal toys, which is not yeah, too much I, of a knock. I, I, There's some great Happy Meal toys, but it's not the same. Yeah, they, I, they might be different up close. I want to see them up close. That Kang and Kodos actually might scale really well with, with these smaller ones because they're so large. Yeah, um, they're huge. But they're beautiful, man. Um, yeah. If, if anyone is on the fence about that, um, that that's one that's worth it. But yeah, it's just a shame. I just saw it and I was like, I felt kind of like bad. I was like, somebody worked really. I actually know one of the sculptors, and this is not any. This is not me connected to him. Sure. But like, they they were there was a lot of love from the artistic side. Yeah. That was put into those figures, and uh, you know me, I, I'm always like a fan of like the artist. And Absolutely. so for me, I'm more like. There are artists out there that really put their soul and their guts into that thing. So uh, for it to not be able to be made makes me feel bad for those guys because, like, I'm sure there were plans. I just think that marketing and price and the way this was rolled out mm -hmm. is just weird. It's I feel the same way about the Disney line. Yeah. It's just weird, weird decisions, you know? Yep. No, I, I don't disagree. I don't disagree at all. Um. 
but anyway, uh, it is what it is, I guess. Um, okay, let's talk about. I guess is there any other toy news? We this is this was big toy news this week. Anything else before we? I want to talk about flip war because it's flip war time, baby. Flip war. Lip poor. <sighs> flip war. What are we gonna do about? Flip <laughs> it's the last. Okay. Is the last night to take part in flip war, man. This is the last night to get flip war and flaker. Okay. Um. Flip here's and flake. my. Here, say again. Flip and flake, baby. Flip and flake. <laughs> we have had a groundswell of support. We have had a massive amount of support. Renders FX, our beautiful sculptor beautiful on the inside and outside uh, here. <laughs> um, I want to thank everybody in the toy community that just came out. There, there's a lot of people that came out, but I'll say that in a second. So uh, before we say that, Flipboar and Flaker, um, we just showed uh, the prototype. Dude, do you have the video of that prototype? Yeah, I'm trying to pull it up now, but my thing's being a dumb dumb. Um, but talk about it. I'm going to work on getting it on my computer. So uh, Ace of Ramen Toys is producing this. Just so everybody knows, it's not a dummy like me who's in his garage going, I'm going to make a toy. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, uh, it's a professional that is making it. And oh, my God, he released this update and he showed it to us in real time. And uh, we did a live stream yesterday. And this thing is... Uh, I would say, I promise you, I, I, I wish it, I wish this was coming from somebody else because I feel like I'm tied to this and people are going to think it's me, but I promise you, if you are a fan of like the origin scale, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we're an like, hour and a half in. I don't think we're going to get flat from YouTube, but you know, <laughs> it just makes me laugh every time. By the way, this, the spring is even going to be stronger than this. Okay. That's a strong spring even here. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me laugh every time okay it's uh, <laughs> I, I, i'm just telling you I, this is gonna fit all of you motu origins people you're gonna want this and and i i by the way we sold a metric ton of flip boards but i think yeah, the one did. that people are, are are sleeping on is flaker because flaker is the villain and he's only going to be in this wave one. So I think if you get flip or you get a flaker. And the other reason why I'm saying it is because uh, we're pretty close to a 200 stretch goal. And if we get that, we get a giant accessory pack with uh, a lot of goodies that you're going to want for your flip bar. Can you imagine this guy doing this to He-Man? It's great for Easter Sunday. <laughs> he's right, dude. He's right. <laughs> he's right. <laughs> Come on, man. So I will say this. If you are even on the fence, okay, anybody can squeeze another 49 bucks, especially toy collectors. You get the bundle. You get 130. You want the smiling flipper Frank head. But uh, I, I really think that this is going to resonate uh, with people. Uh, we're trying to get this for Christmas, okay, or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. We're trying to get it around then. And uh, Flipboard and Flake. And by the way, I keep saying, I think people are sleeping on this Flaker. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, that is going to eBay for, for at least double. By the way, somebody made a, we found a commercial. I don't know. I don't know if you know it. We found an old 80s commercial. It's crazy. It, 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 we unearthed it, Jay. <laughs> yeah, hold on. I, I don't know if I can put in. I can. Uh, I gotta change the sound thing so you can hear this real quick. Hold oh on. yeah, we'll let's just... let's let's see. Because people are I, like, I, I just want to get the vamp, Jay. No, no, you're gonna listen to all of this. Just yeah, it, 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 guys, relax. There's gonna be a vamp uh, drawing, and you get your stuff. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we got you. We got him. <laughs> but this, this, how how rare is it to find this '80s commercial? This is crazy. Like, oh, you found this. Uh, yeah. By the way, epic stash game, my friend. Oh, thank you. Oh, By the way, that's real. Uh, people don't think that's real. My adventurers are about to raid the dark castle to retrieve the enchanted golden idol. Hey, the idol is gone. That's because I got here first. <laughs> Who are you? It is I, Flipboard. Flipboard? Yep, and you'll pay triple the price if you want to see that golden idol again. Triple? We don't have that kind of gold. Make me an offer. I don't know. 
double? Oh, man, I wish I could, but uh, I got overhead, gas price of food went up, economy's just in the shitter. You know how it is. But you didn't do anything to get that. You just got here a few minutes before us. Well, I guess I did do something then. <laughs> Forget it. We'll find some other treasure, like the great hammer of the wolf. Yeah, I got that, too. What? <laughs> I can combine shipping if you want. This sucks. Enchantress. You called? Yes. Why would you let him take all that stuff? He got here when we opened. Well, couldn't you limit it then? Like, maybe one per person? I have many other things to do, you know? Hey, do you want these things or not? I got other buyers interested. How about you find a real job? Looks to me like I got one. That's it. I'm gonna take you down with my dragon mace. You mean this one? <laughs> hey, you thief! No, 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 no. I got it in a lot set with some other stuff. From who? Uh, username was, uh, uh Duncan on Fools. What? Duncan? I'm sorry, warrior. I have a drug problem. So what's it gonna be, adventure? Are we doing this or not? I think I'm done playing for the day. You ruin everything, Flipor. Hey, what can I say? It's a free market. He's got you there, Billy. <laughs> He's got you there. <laughs> <laughs> Flipboard comes with everything seen here. This Flipboard is just a prototype. Support the Kickstarter today and become a champion of nefarity from Hatter Toys. Collect them all. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You can't make a commercial from Tangents and Fairies that talk about me, Blaker. It's my Flipboard. You're the only badass in the land. I'm coming for you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You think you can build me an abandoned vehicle? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm gonna kill you. My name is Blaker. <laughs> I mean, Jay, we found that we found that in a salt mine. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> that that commercial. That's insane. We found it with a bunch of Atari ETs. This is if that's the reason why, why I can't. Hold on, I'm switching. <laughs> 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, incredible, incredible that you where found are that. Those, where are those actors now? That's the one question. Uh, people are saying they cannot understand. <laughs> You know, I was I was debating putting subtitles up like <laughs> uh the Flaker voice is straight out of Aqua Teen Hunger Force. That, that's true. Jason that, that was a nightmare fuel. Uh yeah. Dorlaxon is getting a lot of slow claps for you, my friend. <laughs> I like how one guy, I think one guy in the beginning was like, peace, I'm out. <laughs> he, just <had> to go. <laughs> he just, he was going to get a vamp. Dude, what if the, what if that was a guy that was going to get the vamp? And he just, oh, you're <laughs> right. You're right. Well, he we saw 550 now. people, so they're locked in. They're locked in. They're locked in. Yes. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, uh, the last day, last day to get a flipboard, to get a flaker. Um, look, I, I, Jay, I'm calling it right now. At some point, flipboard. Become Flipboard Flaker become MO2, uh, sorry, Mo2 side cannon. I'm I'm calling mm -hmm. you right now. Side can just like Sun Man, Usagi Ojimbo to Turtles, they just bring them right in. They go and, and suddenly you just see an episode. So uh uh that's all I'm saying. And I do want to say this to you, okay? And I'm gonna be I'm gonna be sincere now. This is me being okay. sincere. You uh so you're my friend, okay? Mm -hmm. But you're also somebody that has like an audience, and you uh when I asked, I want to say this, when I asked Jay, I said, Jay. Can you like maybe talk about Flipboard or whatever? He put me on this show four times to talk about Flipboard. Okay. He really didn't have to. I basically was like, Jake, can you throw me a plug? So uh, I want to say uh, just a big thank you to you and your community for helping Flipboard. And I want to say that also because there are, and I wish this wasn't this way. Okay. But there are a lot of toy tubers that came out. There were a lot of them. Okay. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to, it's, it's like Shardimus, Articulated Ninja. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dave, uh, model behavior. There's a lot of people that came out to push a uh, flip or, but you know what? There was also a few people that flat out, flat out refused. They were Ooh. like, no, we don't want to, we don't want to say anything. And I, 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 and for, for no reason, for no reason other than they didn't give us a reason. So, uh, <laughs> I, I will say that, uh, that made me appreciate what you do even more. And, uh, you know, I was just kind of like, I was like, I hope that I never become that where it's just like, you know, like, because I, I really believe that uh, independent art is art of the future. Uh, mm -hmm. And I saw that at WonderCon, okay? Because like, there's a lot of great independent artists and the stuff that you love, 
that you love now at one point somebody some idiot was just like this might be funny or cool and yeah. put it out there so yeah. i want to say a massive thank you a sincere thank you to you okay and your yeah. audience and i'm not just saying that I, I i think it was an amazing gesture that you gave us the push that you did because you know yeah. it, you don't have to well I, you know well you're one of my oldest friends uh in this youtuber verse uh and um and yeah it's it's like it's like one of those things where i got your back so even if this was like a big pile of poop i would have <laughs> i would have had your back still but yeah. thankfully this is an incredible you know great thing so it, it's not that hard for me to be like yeah let's go let's let's uh let's i I, appre this, I, so. I appreciate Made that it easy for me to support you i guess maybe i should put that to you uh uh this is i i think it's i think it's really cool um and there's nothing um I, I I do this whole geek dad life endeavor to scratch the creative itch because I do love the creative process. I love being creative and um I, I do music as well. And um and so there's nothing I respect more than the creative process. And so um just from uh, a, a, a fr if I have a friend that's creating something and making something new and and unique, like I uh I, I absolutely yeah, I got you. Like I'm I'm there. Uh I'll, well, I'll be, I, I uh found it from the mountaintops, my friend. I appreciate that, man. Um, and I do want to say too, let's also can we put a a, a oh, link goodness. in the description for the Kickstarter? Absolutely. If you can, and I I, I do want to say this too. I do want to say this too. Uh renders effects that is in the chat. This is actually an amazing part of this story that people don't know. Uh renders effects is a guy who sculpted, amazing sculptor that sculpted all these figures. He, the way I got in contact with him is he went to Jay. He was a fan of Jay. He was, he was a, a member of GDL and he showed it to Jay and Jay was the one that showed it to me. So that's how this figure got made. It is as homegrown as you can get. I didn't go on like mandy.com and was like looking for sculptor. It, 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 this was all bred by the toy community and uh and yes i wanted to give uh, some uh, some membership yes, thank uh, you. Yeah. I, I really I, honestly i'm very very thankful that uh, and look if we don't get to 200 I, I, it's a win regardless okay uh, you know we have a stretch goal i still think that by 9 a.m tomorrow if everybody that got a flip or if half the people that got a flip or got a flaker which again i guarantee you with ramen toys doing it it will rise in value i think we will easily hit the stretch goal so if you have love in your heart for Flipboard, if you want this next to your origins or you want this next to just flipping and, and, and just annoying other figures, jump in on Flipboard, jump in on Flaker. It is it is, it is home grown from the toy community action figure than I've ever seen. Again, our freaking sculptor is is a was a fan of GDL and came to me. So that's yeah. it. That's all I got to say. That's my big sales pitch. I'm exhausted with sales pitch. I, I, I am. I'm done. I made a commercial. Well, I didn't make a commercial. I found the commercial from the 80s. You found it. You found I, it. I, I, I sang a song and humiliated myself. I don't know what else I can do, Jay. That's all I'm saying. You've done it. You've done it, my friend. Uh, uh, if you have even been marginally interested uh, in in backing this, uh, or if you haven't backed some of the additional figures, like the, like the Flaker figure, um uh, yeah please please go we're so close here uh for uh, 14,000 away from 200,000 to 14, unlock uh, I think 14 bunch of cool away stuff. we hit 200 and then uh go. people get uh yeah people get by the way if we hit 200 so so that thing at the top if you scroll just up just for a second uh just uh so right there so that's all the stuff that comes with them by default mm -hmm. and by the way uh, this stuff will never, there are things here that you'll never see again. So uh, this stuff comes with them by default. But if you scroll down, uh, that is what unlocks the 200. That is an exclusive Kickstarter, only Kickstarter thing. That whole accessory set with the little action figures, the piss tank box, the beat up flipper. You ever imagine beating up a flipper? There you go. You can beat them up right there. Yeah, you can um, and, and he has some beautiful variants. And by the way, I it, for Wave 2, because there will be a wave two. I have no interest in making these figures again. I want to do other new stuff that I think will be fun. So I really don't want to reapproach this. And that's not like a FOMO thing. I'm just saying that like, you know, it's just like anything. It's just like, I don't have a lot of interest in like the same stuff. Neither do you guys. I want to just move forward and do new stuff. Yeah, no, it's it's exciting. I, okay, I had to go find this. I thought I started, but I didn't. Yes, have some. Uh, we mentioned them earlier in the stream today. Uh, Thank you. It's not funny to make light of the real issue of toy <laughs> flipping and scalpers. It hurts a lot of people. 
half of toy two probably. Oh, God, please, <laughs> I I want that I want that comment, but sincerely in my in my <laughs> I want that comment to to, to show Ooh. up somewhere. Okay, hold on. Okay, it's oh. nice you found this '80s commercial. I agree with Yodamon here. Uh, can't wait for the extreme '90s flip or commercial. Well, you know what? I have the Saved by the Bell hat. You know, I can. Uh, uh, by the way, guys, just so you know, I didn't return those wigs, so anything can happen. You know, <laughs> people are wondering yeah. what's your real hair, what's the fake hair. Oh, like... I, I, it, there, there is no. Re- I think I don't know. Twenty five. I just started losing my hair. <laughs> it's it's all Bruce Willis, buddy. It's there, there's nothing there. But uh, I will. I'd be happy. I'd be happy to. Uh, I'm just saying, I didn't return them. I could have, Jay. I could have gotten some Amazon bucks back. You know, sure, return yeah. the wigs, get some money. No, take them to the like, Kohl's or whatever. Yeah. No, I told my wife I'm keeping them. She said, "Please don't." I said, "I will." And then, you know, we're here. Boom, boom. <laughs> um, all right, people are like, Jay, just give us the damn vamp. Link. I know. Yes, okay. I understand. I understand. This is. Va- I'm cutting it to vamp. Precious vamp time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's uh, let's drop the vamp link. Um, I put the link to uh, the uh, Kickstarter a few times in the chat. Um, uh, but now's your chance. Put your name in for this vamp, ladies and gentlemen. Please do. Uh, we've, we've been vamping uh, here. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, please, uh, if this is it, this is it. So if you're 9 a.m. tomorrow, is that uh, uh, Pacific? 9 a.m. Pacific, baby. Yes, and, that's and- noon Eastern. So for our replay crew, which is... The majority of people that watch this show watch on replay, not when it's live. Um, uh, if you were considering it, like now's the time to do it. Uh, I, I didn't, I should have started as well. I, Brandon 3G, uh, just backed it. He said the commercial uh, was what set him over. Here it is right here. Yeah, yeah just the, back. That commercial <laughs> sent me over. Well, the top. So it was great you found that commercial. I dude, I again it, it was surrounded by Atari ETs, but uh I want to thank you. I also there were some other people in the chat, by the way, that did get one. I want to make sure uh I saw somebody, I saw Mike, Mike Garlaccio said he backed the flipboard and flaker. Uh what if I miss it, uh, I'm sorry, uh uh 100 percent Thank you, thank you very much. Um, any questions you have too, you can always email us hattertoys at collector.org, hattertoys at collector.org. But yes. 9 a.m. PST. I promise we're going to get to the vamp. 9 a.m. PST. <laughs> uh, 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 the Kickstarter ends, and and you know with it, maybe dreams. So that's, you know that's all I got to say. Um, <laughs> Neil Hunter, uh, Hatter, take it from a queer in theater. Never return wigs. You will <laughs> find another use for them. You know what, Neil? I I already have something in my head. Okay, so uh, I you know Billy. Billy, the abused child, might be back. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> poor, poor Billy. Uh, that's all I got to oh, say. Poor no, Billy. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Louis uh, Balestros, just back from Mexico. This would have been a hit here in Mexico. Good is boy. very Mo2 driven. Boom. Good boy. And then somebody under. I think there was somebody under uh, that, that backed it. Uh, Ed, Edgardo. Uh, did you, did Jesus uh, had our back to butt. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Uh, now's the time now's the time to get in the yeah, final get countdown in. get in or get out um i would play the final countdown but i'm already in enough heat as it yeah. is with that incredible that, rendition of kiss from a rose that was i mean that will for uh, sure get you defunded <laughs> but yeah um uh, <laughs> ryan dole <laughs> we're gonna need another billy <laughs> Can I get Dole in one of these commercials i would love that oh yes yes oh tony it. Tapone just backed Oh, um, thank you. Thank too you, bad you. basis. There's there's always a Billy from the 80s. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have a Billy, right? You gotta <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh I'm, I'm seeing it go up live while we do this. Okay. Um, I'll do one more time for the vamp giveaway. I'm putting the link in right meow. Again, you have to you have to put in your YouTube name, ladies and gentlemen. Uh yeah. not your whatever name. Not whatever. Andy suits backing Flaker right now. Andy, um, good boy. And, good boy. Uh, by the oh, way, I, Billy. Oh, oh no, Billy. Oh, by the way, also, I'm sorry. At, at Toy Stalker, we do have Flip Life shirts. Um, Flip Life, uh, 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 and they've been really, they've been selling really well uh, with Flipboard and Flaker. All the proceeds for those shirts go to the campaigns. 
And here's something, and I, I can't make a promise, okay? I can't make this a promise, Jay. But okay. I offered people, if you get a shirt or you get a flake or you got whatever, if you DM me on Instagram, you just might get a voicemail. <laughs> because I've sent so many people voicemails going, hey, buddy, you're a champion in the Faraday and you're awesome. <laughs> and and I, I really think the, those people will keep those voicemails. On, they're they're going to show those to their grandkids on their deathbed. They're going to be like, check this out. So, so you, you just might. You just might get your own personalized mm. voicemail. Uh, uh, you don't know. You don't know, Jay. That's what I'm saying. That's that's worth the price of admission right there. I think so. You um, know, hit me up. <laughs> uh, let's see. If I win the vamp, I'm backing more. There you oh, go. Man, what a what a uh, Jay. Can you can you tinker around in the back end and make sure uh, maybe that happens? <laughs> 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 I do not have influence uh, over what the ducks okay, do. Okay, got it, got it. I, uh, you know, it's funny. I use the duck race for this thing at work, and people think I can control the ducks. I was like, listen, I've been doing duck races for a long time now, and I, I don't, I can't control the ducks. Yes, I can't. Yeah, I can't. Um, yeah. This might be the biggest duck race we have ever done, ladies and gentlemen. People are one. all about this vamp. We currently have. Uh, over 263 people. Whoa, that have backed this bad boy. Um, which is insane. Let me pull up the online stopwatch. Jay, while uh, you do that, can I answer just a few things real quick? Please go um, ahead. Uh, somebody said shipping. Toy Stalker will be handling our shipping, and uh, he's going to keep it low. That's one of the reasons why we even did this campaign because he can keep the shipping pretty low. Obviously, the shipping is going to depend on how much you get or whatever, but um. Uh, uh, it's, it, we, we, you're working with one of the best in the shipping game yeah. and then, um, huge, yeah, Jay, getting him the ship for sure. Yeah, Jay, Jay can attest to that. And then, um, I think somebody just said something like, uh, oh crap, I forgot. I think there was, <laughs> there was another, I may have missed it, Jay Ski. So we, we can, we can go, we can go on. No, no, go ahead. I gotta get this thing teed up anyway. Um, okay. I think, uh, that was it. Uh, uh, Hatter, if we can't back for financial, will Flipboard be available in some form later? Happy if you regard. I just don't know. Uh, I, I will say this: uh, that catch, uh, I think it cannot come with that. Um, uh, and then there's an accessory pack. So, and again, I just I do not know. Uh, it won't be what you get here. I, I will say that, and it can't be. It has to be like Kickstarter yeah. has to kind of get some kind of priority in terms of people that backed. But um, the maybe the buck itself. But we do not have anything worked out currently you know i'm making this up as i go <laughs> I, it just it just no it, it we just don't have anything locked in so i don't want to say yes or no and then it doesn't happen or something um if i back flip or can matt had sign it we might do something where we maybe sell Ooh, that's a fun idea. Uh, uh, very very cheap uh uh trading cards and sign them and mail them i will say this though um it's, the, it's just a logistic thing the only reason why we're even doing that is because we thought maybe people might want them Number one, if we do that, it'll be cheap. But if I go to a convention or whatever, I'll sign anything anybody wants for free. Like I, I said that already. Like if if I could be at the warehouse and sign them, I would do it. I just it won't work out that way. But uh, you go to a con, you see me, I'll sign it. But uh, in lieu of that, for things that you know I can't travel around the world, we might have like a signature card or something like that Ooh, that you can add okay. on uh, later or something uh, and put put in your order. So that is something because I would like a card. I would like a like yeah. kind of like old school Marvel card uh, to that that would uh, fit with your flipboard. I love that idea, Hatter. We have a choice to make here. Somebody mentioned it's Easter today. Should we do a bunny rabbit race? Oh, and I, I'm I'm scrolling down here, and we've got a racing Easter egg race or an Easter bunny race. Ooh. Should we? Should we? I mean, this is the biggest duck race we've ever done. We currently have almost 300 people have entered in to win the vamp. Or I should we think... stick with the ducks? I'll, I'll let no, you decide. No, no. I, I, my vote is let's make it special, right? Yeah, maybe. I think so. Eggs, bunnies. What are we? What are we feeling here, folks? I mean, what, I, are, what are the people? You got some people saying bunny, some people bunnies, um, eggs, bunnies. I think bunnies are certain are leading right now. Yes. Um, um, do they don't have any Jesus races? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many Jesuses you can make. <laughs> My uh, vote is for bunnies, if that means anything. Okay, I asked you what what we should do here. So, bunny race is what we're going with for yes. Easter Sunday. Um, let me uh, edit the list. If you haven't gotten your name in yet, this is your chance. 
do we have 300? We have 308 people. Wow. Luckily, I have a paid for account. It can handle up to a uh, th- uh, 1,000 people. So that's good. Let me do a quick scan through here. AJ, while you, sure. while, you, while you do that, um, do. somebody had mentioned uh, the, if the shirts are, the shirts are going to get tabulated like right at the end. Okay. It's, it's, I wish it was going to bring us over to the goal. It, it'll help. It won't bring us to the goal. We still need, you know, uh, uh, we still need more, but uh, yes, we're, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to add the shirts um, uh, like right at the, right at the finish line. Beautiful. I'm just making sure. Ninja kick the damn rabbit. <laughs> yeah. Duck, duck, ninja kick the damn rabbit. Pork rinds? Pork, pork rinds. rinds. Pork rinds? You know, that's why I had a pork rind for the first time was because of that movie. It was like, I was you know what? When rind? I was a, a kid, we we didn't uh we were kosher, so I never had a pork rind until oh, I was shit, went. yeah. Yeah, I, I I was 27. My mom wouldn't let me eat any of that. I was 27 when I had my wow. first, you know, first pork rind. <laughs> did it, it feel did not disappoint, though? <laughs> Somebody put in rock on and hard on. I feel like, is that a real person? Rock on and hard on. Should I pull them out <laughs> of the thing here? Um, I got to check. Some people put in. Yes. Uh, hold on a second. Jason, uh, uh, question had, is the elbow joint loose for the flipping action or is a standard origin elbow? It will not be loose, by the way. Uh, that is a prototype. And uh, the weight distribution. Uh, if you watch my stream, we talk about it. But the 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 weight is too much for the prototype. And that's why it looks like it has um, that, like, uh, um, you know, the, but the elbow joint will be tight. And, um, yeah, like, origin origin is, which means you can pose it. Like, if you don't care about flipping action, you can pose it however way you want. But uh, Ace already said, um, and he didn't even publish this yet, but he already has one that's tighter. And that's where they're going. And the spring's going to be stronger. So, um uh, you'll you'll get it. It'll, it'll Let me just away. call out this. I have somebody currently spamming the form. Cesar76, you're getting disqualified, my friend. He's put in like a hundred different names right now. Cesar, you're losing. You're not even gonna be a part of this, uh, my guy. So yeah, good, good, good job, good job, Cesar. <laughs> um, you're getting booted from the game. I don't know if you realize if you're trying to do this on purpose to be to be clever. Yeah, um, hey, Cesar, don't forget to backflip bar. <laughs> <laughs> but goodness gracious uh, uh putting in like ten thousand submissions so maybe not quite 300 people because yeah. no joke sees caesar is like yeah 40 people right now i'll, I'll let you do what you have to uh, uh Derek, uh, the, the three pack bundle uh no plans for one box because uh, people seem to have wanted like everything to be like on card like basically you get three things on card um mm-hmm. but we might add a little something for the bundles maybe like a, a print or a poster we do have some really nice art so uh we haven't decided on that yet but no plans for like i think people are going to want the individual individual on card um uh 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 figures um they just broke 187k for flip hey we might oh. make it, dude we might make it at nine uh uh we gotta make it though it can't be 200 and then some guy who d- donated 10k pulls his pledge it's gotta make it but we <laughs> might we might uh the night is still young international people and the the replay crew if you're listening to this replay crew you might save the day okay um that's all i'm saying yeah uh cesar thanks man for putting in 50 submissions dude what the hell like, like how can you do that screwed up dude like this is supposed to be for fun and you made it not so fun to try and get through all of your freaking submissions um to try and take it away from other people i can try to figure out that for future ones um but cesar yeah. 76 i'm putting you on blast not cool yeah, you are. You know what? I'm putting you on blast too. You're uh, well. You know what? I'm not going to curse. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, where can you buy Flipboard? I can't. Uh, can I post this? And I don't think I can. But let me see. You can't. Can. I'll, I'll put. I'll put another. It'll be in the chat. You can also search in um, on Kickstarter. Yeah, if you uh, search on Kickstarter, I, Jay's doing or. a lot of stuff. If you just search Flip Dash or Flip or I just can't put it in the chat and Jay's already busy. Um, you can, uh, it's the only one on Kickstarter. It better be the only one on Kickstarter with the name Flipboard. <laughs> it is. Uh, it, uh, it's the first thing. It'll be the first thing that comes up. Um, oh God, Caesar, you're killing me, dude. Um, dude, really? But- what the hell? Like, 
Wait a wait. Like you didn't a, think a, I wouldn't notice? Cloud. Huh? Like yeah. it's like Caesar, you didn't think I wouldn't notice you put yourself in ten thousand times. Um, there we go. All right, I finally cleared out all the Caesars. So oh we were God. at like three hundred and what were we at? Like three hundred and something, and now we're down to two seventy three. So yeah, but that's better. Be, you you that's get you better. get better odds. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Um, but anywho, uh, put this in. Sorry, Jason. Uh, you don't you don't deserve that. Oh, it's okay. It's you know, it's part of the you're in public and you're putting yourself out there. Uh there we go. All right. We put these in. We got bunny rabbits. All right. Oh wait, that's not right. Edit list. There's more than a hundred. Clear list. Um uh, can I do more than a hundred up to a hundred names? Hold zero out of oh maybe I can only do a hundred in that. Hold on. Oh, in, go... in the duck race or whatever? Yeah, maybe maybe I need it to be a duck race. There oh, we yeah, go. Okay, I'm sorry, either. folks. The bunny rabbits is only up to a hundred, so just imagine that they're bunnies, guys. Yeah, we'll just pretend. We'll just pretend that they're Let's bunnies. Yeah, you know what? I feel like online stopwatch. You need to step this up. <laughs> so, I know, dude. They should give you the limit for everything. What the hell? <laughs> um. Anywho, all right. Let's do the damn thing. One minute for a GI Joe classified vamp. Again, big thanks um to Matt Bush uh, for saying this in to give away. Look at all these ducks, man. This is. That's a cra- <laughs> <laughs> is this the most you've ever had? <gasps> um. Yes. Even even with Caesar like screwing shit up uh this is definitely the biggest okay. duck race maybe the biggest duck race that's ever been done on a live sh- toy tuber live stream before okay? okay we're calling it right now the biggest duck race ever okay you were here everybody was here for it everybody's here okay what the duck yeah. may the best duck win um here we go Wow, I, there's so many names. They're all <laughs> uh, there's uh, John Johnson's currently in the lead. Carlos yeah, yeah. Rosco, Gura's PC Glass, David is, uh, Snot Lips, Jason Demolo, uh, Cone Killer Confuser, uh, Josh 739, Quip, Quip is in the lead with the strawberry head. Uh, uh, Walter Van Winkle, ooh, he's in the he's in the action. Derek Hoover is Spider Man, Scott Kinsella is in the mix. Oh. Uh, um walter van winkle almost coming up uh allison troy allison troy is coming up oh fast. my god if allison troy wins this, allison, allison troy, troy she's come oh she just slowed oh, down allison, yes have slow some down. yes have some is yes, currently ha- in the lead no if way yes have some wins this this has to be rigged right i <laughs> swear it's not there's no way there's no way yes have some's gonna win this thing it's impossible oh, frankie rivera oh frankie rivera is currently in the lead as what? well uh and oh. who is that I can't. Who is that? Carlos. Wow. Damn. Wow. I mean, great, right? For Carlos. Carlos. Congratulations. Wow. You know what, guys? Everyone gets a van. No, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. Um, congrats, Carlos. Carlos, Carlos, Carlos uh, Caceres, you need to say that you're here in the chat. You need to show that you're here. Oh, boy. Carlos. Let us know. What do you do if somebody doesn't show up? Do you just re-race or something? We race or? again. We, we race, race again. again. Okay. Carlos, are you here? Carlos, everything, everything is, this is everyone the is waiting for you. Do you understand? Yeah. You have 500 people. Just it's 580 people watching right now. Carlos. 580 people. Holy crap. Craziest, craziest duck race we've ever done. And Carlos. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, nice. Uh, awesome i am not caesar thanks <laughs> uh congratulations carlos please uh shoot an email to geekdadlife at gmail.com uh with your name and address and uh and we'll get this on your way That's congratulations cool. uh wow. carlos geekdadlife at gmail.com whoo uh, and let me put in the flipper link one more time. Flipper link. There you go. Uh, uh, I, I am not Caesar. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Craig must have been swearing his F. I know. Yes, half some was in the lead for a while there. I know. Um, Craig is punching the air right now. <laughs> Craig is like, damn it. I could have used that. 
so close. <laughs> uh, again, big thanks to Matt Bush indeed. Uh, yeah, Caesar, sees hard and not send 100 emails pretending to be Carlos. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, so anyway, that's 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 it. Uh, let me uh, I do have new patrons credits because we got some oh, new, patrons new patrons in the mix here. So we plus them in. Uh, oh, I started it too early. Hold on. Sorry. I started my credits too early. Uh, so sorry. Thank you to the patrons of Geek Dad Life. We got a fun after dark uh, plan for night. Colleen is joining me. Um, but uh, if you want to become a patron, five dollars or more, you get your name in the credits. Uh, you get uh, access to our After Dark show, our Toy Geeks After Show. Um, and then we have a, a, a Patreon Discord, which is hopping. It's incredible. Actually, the Patreon Discord is where Renders, I think, shared with me the uh, his renders of, of Flipboard for the first My time. God. That's how those communication happened yeah. because of that Patreon Discord. You, it, so it's it's a, it's a hopping Discord. It's an important Discord. So, um, uh, you know, definitely five bucks. Uh, issue, you know, we Blake, we should have done another cover reveal tonight. You should have hit me up, my friend. We could have done, we could have done that. But I guess Wednesday's better. But yeah, Toy Collector Magazine issue eleven cover reveal coming there. Um, congrats on the uh the, your associate the uh, great Ohio Toy Show uh this weekend. That's awesome. Um, do we get anything for subbing here? You get to enjoy all of the content of Geek Dad Life for free. It costs nothing to be here. Yeah, you just got to, and you got, I think you got a free sub from your old Uncle Hatter today. Oh, so, man. you know. You <laughs> Wait, you hadn't subscribed until now? No, I'm oh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, Patrick. I, I didn't want to. <laughs> you might have jumped uh, in before then. <laughs> uh, yes, I have some that would be good. Yeah, I, you know what, Craig? I, what? I, I'm, I'm bummed you didn't win it. Uh, good for your Huskies. They destroyed my San Diego State Aztecs, but. Uh, go so I'm going NC State now, uh, NC State all the way. Um, but anywho, uh, come hang out with us at After Dark. This is the thumbnail. Uh, member Turtle Pies, I member. Uh, we'll be trying out this oh my Calabunga God. Pies <laughs> vanilla pudding power. I uh, made a flavor. video on this. It was yes, delicious. you did. Yes, so now, I loved it. <laughs> you did. Okay, I, it's now my turn. I'm going to try it on after dark dude, i'm so happy you're doing <laughs> um so uh, patrons five dollars if you haven't done it come join we're gonna try this out uh colleen and i are gonna try it um and talk about those turtle pies man this is magical did you did you, did you have those as a kid apparently only around for a year i i was a 7-eleven kid if you don't know what that is it means that after school you and your buddy sure. would go to 7-eleven and probably play street fighter or mortal Kombat, and then you would just eat crap and uh, we ate so many of those dumb pudding pies that, like, it's a, you know, I don't want to ruin, uh, there is something that is missing texturally from that, but I don't want to okay. ruin, I want you to have, like, a first experience uh, in, in there. So, yeah. Boom, boom. All right, well, patrons, I'll see you after dark. Hatter, uh, thank you so much, friend. It was so much fun having you on uh, all these episodes while you promoted and Flipboard and... Hopefully it's not another flipper figure before you're you're back on the show, uh, my friend. Yes, let's uh, always make love it. Hand. Uh, let's let's. But we, we, you know, I'm, but you know, I'm always here. You know, I'm always. Yeah, I know. Around. I know. But also, I feel like after tomorrow, you've earned a respite from live streaming. I am. Uh, somebody asked, "Am I going to live stream to 200?" <laughs> um, I think me and Mega J are going to wake up early. Okay. And I think. I almost feel like we need to. We need to just kind of like kind of need to. You need to send it final off. countdown, and we. I, I might just have a few drinks. I might, and 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 after that, I'm just uh, going away because after that, Ace from Ramen Toy, he's gonna do his thing. So yeah. So um, uh, I, I think, but I think we will do a live. Thank you again to everybody in the chat who supported Flipboard. Uh, I will say, if half of the people that were in the chat got a Flaker or a Flipboard, we're at our goal. Just saying. Mm -hmm. That's all it takes, and then you know we will have made. I would consider toy tube or toy history. That 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 that's we'll, we'll be part of that. So <laughs> so I want to thank everybody, and uh, you guys are awesome, and you are awesome, Jay. Where are you, Jay? Okay. I'm right here. Uh, you are an amazing, an amazing friend. I have to say that again. Uh, uh, same to you, my friend. And uh, on that note, we're out of here. Take care, everybody. Have a great week. Hasta luego. And goodbye.